Hello Sagittarius, Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. This reading is going to look at the energies for you um, between the 20th to the 26th of July or round about that time, a little bit beyond perhaps. I've pre-shuffled the Shireen Marachetti Gilded Tarot. Um, I'll just do a final shuffle for you. For those days. And then we'll lay them out um, as a past, present and future reading. And then one more from underneath the deck, which is um, another energy. Could be a clarifying energy, an overall energy, or perhaps something else that they want to see. I'll just do a final shuffle of the Wheel of the Year Tarot. This will give a little bit of extra depth and clarity to your reading. I'll lay those on top. Now this reading won't resonate with absolutely all of you Sagittarius because it's general but it will re resonate with some of you. If you'd like a personal reading please get in touch. My details are below the video. Now um, in the past position for you um, Sagittarius we've got the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, the Eight of Swords is about when we feel stuck in our mind. We're overthinking something and we're feeling stuck. We don't can't think of a way forward. Um, but if you can see, the chains around the young woman's wrists are loose. They're not tied. So she could actually shake them off and take a blindfold off and she would be able to see better. But um, this is uh, she's, she's very much stuck in her mind. She doesn't feel that she can do. Sometimes a little bit of an energy of doesn't she doesn't want to see. Um, so take it out, it resonates with you, Sagittarius. She doesn't want to see what's in front of her. Um, and this is the Seven of Pentacles is something about timing. Um, well, uh, timing, waiting, um, waiting for something to um, be ready, if you like. So being stuck in the mind, being stuck, um, and whilst waiting for somebody, something to become ready. All right, I'll just put those down. That's in the past. Um, now, currently, we have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So the Four of Cups is when we, there's an opportunity being offered. There's an opportunity around you, but you're not seeing it or you don't want to see it. You, you, you don't want to see what's being offered or you're not ready. Perhaps you're not ready to, to accept it or take it whatever that opportunity is that's being offered. It could be something from the universe coming down as a gift, um, or it could be something else. And then connected to that is the Ten of Swords. So here we have Swords again, um, which is Swords are about the, the mind and communication. Um, now, the Ten of Swords is when there's been a very painful, difficult situation um, that is now coming to an end. It's, it is coming to an end. It's going to come to an end. Uh, it's been very painful. It's been very difficult. It's been very upsetting. Um, and it's coming to an end. So it looks like this offer that's coming down for you is something to do with um, whatever the situation has been coming to an end. Um, but you, you just need to accept what is being offered at this time. And you just need to be able to see it. Uh, Sagittarius. And the future going forward, we have the Two of Swords and the Princess of Wands. The Two of Swords is cross swords. You can see the swords are crossed. And this is about disagreement and perhaps conflict. It could be just to do with one other person. But the disagreement, a, a difference of opinion. Um, and uh, it, it could refer to arguments. It could refer to conflict in your own mind, um, Sagittarius where there's perhaps a decision to be made and you can't make your mind up. You see the lady's got the blindfold, um, the golden um, cover over her eyes, which is very similar, isn't it, to the Eight of Swords that was in the past. The lady had the blindfold. She didn't want to see um, what's in front of her. Um, so going forward, there's still an element of that energy around 
um, Two of Swords. Um, and uh, connected to that is the Princess of Wands because here we have the waiting card again. So the future coming in is, is, is almost a mirror of um, what's in the past, what's gone. The Ten of Swords and then the timing not being right. And then going forward, the Two of Swords cross swords can't make you can't make a decision or don't want to see something a decision that needs to be made um and then the princess of wands waiting um waiting for something to come waiting for something to come over the horizon um all right um connected to this um two of swords this cross swords this difficulty whatever it is Mm, that's interesting. It's not very often that happens. You've got um, mirror images of the past and the future going forward. And in the middle, you've got this offer of some sort, universal offer or opportunity, perhaps, um, that's, that's there that could end this very painful and difficult situation. And then an overriding energy, we have the Six of Cups and the Hermit. The Six of Cups is about relationships over a long time. So what it's saying is this is to do with relationships over a long time, either a relationship or a family um, connections, but from the past. Um, from the past going way back but coming forward then so linked to the present but it's relationships from the past and it could be about relationships somebody coming in from the past who you haven't seen for a long time or this could be saying this is that this reading involves um, people in your life that have been in your life for a long time and then the hermit is when we're searching. You see, the hermit's out on his own. He's got his lamp and he's searching for answers. He's searching for information. He's searching for an understanding, a new way forward, all right, about something to do with um, people or a person in your life that's been in your life a long time. Now I'm going to ask for some more information from the Earth Magic cards for you. Sagittarius, so could we have some more information, please? Perhaps some clarification of the Six of Cups and the Hermit. Some clarification, please, for Sagittarius, the 20th to the 26th of July or thereabouts. Timing around that those dates. More information, please. I'm going to take another four cards. Um, so we have an overriding energy of the new moon. Now this is about new beginnings. This is a promise of something new. Um, we have the new moon up there, um, but we have the dawn. This is the sun coming up. So this is the promise of something new, um, a new dawn. Then we have the rebirth, activation and generations. Um, so we have, yes, the same, the similar energy to the new moon and promise. We have the spring equinox, which is about rebirth, new beginnings and um, creativity, something new beginning. In the spring, we have the new leaves, don't we, the flowers. Um, uh, you get um, a lot of um, birth of um, animals give birth, birds. Um, so new life. So we have spring equinox, a rebirth of some sort, um, activation, then the wind, when the wind blows, it activates, it stirs things up, it changes things, it changes the shape of things. So there's an activation happening. So as there's a rebirth of the new beginnings, um, the wind is blowing, so it's activating, there's change coming in, change is happening. And then we have uh, the ancestors, generations. So this is when we walk and leave our footprints in the sand, if you like, um, over generations. Um, and these are handprints. Um, but it's the same. It's the same thing. This is about what we inherit from our ancestors over generations. Sometimes it's about stories that are passed down um, in families, in communities. 
Um, there's a there's an element of DNA here that's been inherited, and the snake of wisdom and rebirth, um, and healing. So um, so there's something uh, here about a new beginning. That the wind there's an activation of change. Change is happening. Um, and um, this is a generational situation. This is something that's that's been handed down, um, an energy that's been handed down and passed on um, through the generations and possibly through DNA. All right, I'm going to leave it there for you, a Sagittarius. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this reading and that it holds meaning for you. It can't have meaning for all of you Sagittarius but it certainly will for some of you please let me know in the comments if you would like um, to leave some comments I, I do like to read um, what um, some people what some of my uh, readers think of the reading if it has meaning um, no worries if not um, but thank you for joining me and good luck going forward Sagittarius do join me again in the future take care now bye bye <laughs>